welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Sam and I'm going to be leading you through a short flexibility flow. So if you're feeling a little bit stiff and sore through the body like I am today, this is a great flow obviously just to stretch out your muscles and find lots of length and space and we're gonna jump right in and get started on all fours. So we're opening with cat and cow. Hands under your shoulders, knees right under your hips. And take a moment to find that neutral spine. So feel your shoulder blades pressing down towards your back pockets. Feel your belly button pulling in. And then on an inhale, we're gonna drop the belly. Lift your gaze up towards the sky. And then we'll exhale, curve your head and tail in towards each other. And again, inhale, arching the back, opening up. Exhale, we curve. Continue doing three more, I would say, following the flow of your own breathing. Finding those inhales and exhales. If you wanna pause in a certain place that feels really good in your body, of course, feel free to do that. Just using the breath to find a little bit more space. And when you've completed your three rounds, coming back to that neutral spine, and we're gonna take the right leg and extend it out behind us. So toes are on the floor, your heel is reaching back, so we're stretching into the calf. As we do this, try not to let the back release. We're still holding the spine here. So your belly button's pulling in, and we're pushing into the palms to send the weight back. And now from here, you'll recenter your body and cross the leg over towards the left side, looking towards that foot. So this is like a banana shape through your torso, through, and through your spine. And then we're wrapping our body around to look towards that foot, finding a little bit of a side body stretch here. And it might feel good just to intuitively add a little bit of extra movement here. If you wanna maybe rock a little bit forward and back. And we'll take it back to center so that those hips are now square once again. And on an inhale, we're gonna lift the leg up, keep it turned in, heel plugging towards the ceiling, and we drop the belly. Here we are in a cow stretch with the leg, and then we're going to exhale Pull the knee in, curve the spine, just like that cat and cow, but we're adding that right leg twice more. Inhale, pushing that heel up towards the sky as high as it'll go. Exhale, curve, bringing that knee in. Last time, inhale, reach it up and extend. And exhale, curve it in. Hold here, fight for a little bit more rounding through your back. And then we're gonna walk the hands forward, bring the knee with you finding pigeon pose. So readjust if you need, get comfortable. Remember that your shin doesn't have to be at a full 90 degrees if it means you're gonna roll off your hip. So I'd rather see that the hips are a little bit more square. And if that means you've gotta pull the heel in a little bit, that's totally fine. So once you've found your good pigeon position, let's inhale to grow tall and exhale to walk forwards and just curve over that front leg. Taking another five breaths or so here. Feel with every exhale that your hips are sinking lower into the mat. And from here, we'll walk our hands in, rolling back up. You're going to roll over your right glute, just like a little floor roll, to turn and face the opposite side of your mat, stretching your legs out in front of you, maybe giving them a shake. We're gonna take a passive forward fold on this side, so you can inhale your arms up, and then exhale, chin to your chest, curve your body forward, your arms will rest beside your legs. And just as I mentioned, this is passive, so let gravity pull you farther into the stretch here. Letting it all go. Your spine is curving naturally. Your neck is relaxed. We're not engaging through the legs whatsoever. So really dive into this passiveness in our stretch here. And notice where you feel the lengthening the most. 
if you feel it through your hamstrings. I even feel it a little bit into my calves and my Achilles because I'm particularly tight today. You may also feel it up through your spine, maybe even into your neck. We're really stretching the entire posterior chain here. Take two more breaths. And from here, we'll walk our hands in, coming to take a seat. And we're gonna cross at the ankles, shifting our weight forward, coming back to all fours, now facing the back of your mat. And we're gonna repeat that sequence all the way from our cat and cow, so we inhale to lift our gaze, arching our backs. Exhale to curve, head and tail, reach towards one another. Inhale. And exhale. Three more, following your own flow of breath. And coming back to your neutral spine, once you've finished, taking your left leg now out behind you. Same thing, keep your belly pulling in, shift your weight back, pushing into your hands and stretching through that calf there. Finding long length and energy shooting out that heel behind you. And we're gonna take that energy now and twist it off to the side, re-square or re-center your right hip so it's right over top of your right knee. And then from there we find this banana shape, your twist from your heel all the way up into the side of your body. Take one more breath and we'll take that left leg back to center, re-square yourself before we lift the leg, finding an inhale with an arch once more. And exhale, knee to your nose, we curve. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, curve. Once more, inhale, heel reaches towards the sky, pushing into your hands, shoulders are down away from your ears. We exhale, we curve, and we walk the hands forward. Place the knee onto the mat, squaring off your hip. Again, take a moment to get settled squaring off your hips as best as you can here. And one leg might feel like a totally different experience than the other, that's okay. Just making notes for yourself, noticing how it feels in your body. As we inhale, arms reach back, lift up to the sky. Exhale, fold it forwards over your front leg. Taking five or so breaths here. Again, inviting that sinking feeling into your hips with each and every exhale. Try to relax through your shoulders and your neck. And we'll walk the hands in, rolling just like we did on the first side over your left butt cheek coming to the front of your mat once more. Both have your legs out in front. This time we're gonna take an active forward fold. So you wanna pull up through your knees. The quads are engaged here. Belly is engaged, reaching perhaps all the way through your ankles and toes. Same thing, we inhale with the arms up. This, help, this time we're gonna exhale, reaching the arms forward and try to maintain a flat back. So it'll mean that you can't go as far just try to feel that length, especially in through the lumbar spine here, really reaching that tailbone away from you in the opposite direction of your crown. And just hold this position here and feel how the stretch may be different here than it was in our passive fold. And we're gonna keep the legs engaged. Let your spine curve slightly forward so that you can bring your forehead a little bit closer to your shins this time but keep the legs engaged. So we're pulling up through the knees, reaching the ankles out far away. And let's flex through the feet, finding that flat back position once again. This time, shoulders plug down away from your ears. And we'll release, point the toes, arms reach up. We're gonna cross at the ankles once again, this time coming to our first downward facing dog. 
So take a moment to get settled. Let's shake out your head, paddle through the feet, nice and easy. And then settling both heels down into the mat. Shoulders are reaching down away from your ears. Let's take our first flow. We're gonna inhale to plank. You can place your knees on the floor as we lower down onto the mat. Inhale, cobra, elbows plug in towards your rib cage. And then we exhale, push it back. Your downward facing dog. I'm gonna start on the left leg for this next series, but you're welcome to start on the right if you wish at home. You're gonna inhale the left leg up, just gently step it forward between the palms, coming to a low lunge so your back knee is on the floor. And right away we'll inhale the arms up, feel your shoulders plugging down away from your ears. And again, you're welcome to stay here, square towards the front of your mat, or to make it a little more challenging, we twist towards the left, arms front and back, then left hand comes to the right thigh, and we exhale, right arm reaches up to find a little reverse twist here. This will really intensify the stretch into that front hip flexor. So make it as intense as you wish for your practice today. And once again, we're going to tuck the back toes and you're gonna push into your legs to come up to a high lunge. And now here in this position, try to stay low. So I know we just came up, but try to maintain this twist and we're keeping the hips nice and low, trying to find 90 degrees with that front knee. Breathing into this spiral. Then from here, we're gonna circle the arms, plant the back heel, finding warrior two. Again, maintain that deep, Low bend through the front leg. Try to check in that your heels are in line. Outside of your right foot is staying glued into the mat. One more breath. And we're gonna push straighten through that front leg. Slowly walk your back heel in just a couple of inches. Palms flip to face the outside of your mat. Your hips will go back. You will bend forward, finding triangle pose. Try to keep your shoulders stacked on top of one another so we're not rolling towards the floor here. I like to think of this pose as being very two-dimensional, as if we were sliding into a really narrow space here. So we gotta keep the shoulders stacked, keeping the hips stacked. And we'll reach that right arm up beside the ear, so just intensifying that stretch through the side of your body for one breath. And we're gonna take both hands onto the floor, turn your back heel, finding pyramid pose. So your back heel can be parallel or at a 45 degree angle. And then just release, similarly to what we did in that seated forward fold, feel that your tailbone is reaching in the opposite direction of your crown. So we have this very active stretch here, this active position, we're not being passive. You can have a slight micro bend in that front knee so we're not forcing any kind of hyperextension. And then from here, we will step back, finding plank, taking it into another flow. We exhale all the way down. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take another moment to paddle out your feet, get settled. And if you had done the left side like me at home, we're gonna go into the right. So inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it through, back knee comes down onto the mat. Inhale your arms up. Feel that belly pull in so we're not spilling everything out towards the bottom of the mat in your low lunge here. And you can stay here or exhale to twist towards the right. Feel that long line through your arms. And then we find our reverse, so left arm reaches up. Take a moment here to find the length through the front of your left hip flexor this time. And then we will tuck our back toes, challenge yourself to maintain this twist as we engage through the legs to lift up off of the mat, keeping 90 degrees through that front knee. Keeping all five toes on that front foot on the mat. So we're not rolling in or out. And then we will circle the arms transition to find your warrior two, sinking nice and low energy through that back leg outside of your left foot is 
drilling into the mat here. Take one more breath. And we'll straighten through that front leg. Walk your back heel in a couple of inches, maintaining that same parallel line. And our hips go back, your arms go forwards, finding your triangle pose. Remembering to open up the shoulders, finding that sort of two-dimensional shape. Breathing. And we'll bring that left arm this time up overhead, now looking down to the floor. And we'll circle the arms. Shoulders are now square to the mat. We turn the back heel, finding pyramid pose here on the right side. Now again, I invite you to try and find a little bit of length through that lower back so your tailbone and crown are reaching in complete opposite directions. And as we do that, also relaxing through the neck, Taking one more breath. And now from here, instead of coming to our down dog, you're gonna turn your right foot so that it's now parallel to the short edge of your mat and your left foot will do the same. We're coming to a wide legged forward fold and I'll invite you to bring in any sort of intuitive movement here. So if you wanna bend and straighten through the legs, maybe shift your weight side to side. And then let's take a moment to find stillness. Again, finding that length through your lower back, reaching your tailbone far away from you. Arms are just relaxed, resting in front of your face towards the floor. And again, you're welcome to stay in this forward fold or if you'd like to intensify it a little bit. You're going to take, let's actually do, you're gonna take your two piece fingers and wrap them around your big toes. This is again a really good variation to help you find length through the back. We're gonna maintain this hook on the toes. As we inhale, reach the tailbone away from you, shoulders press down, we find a flat back position. And then exhale, bending your elbows out to the side, you're going to fold in between those legs, relax your head and neck, and still try to maintain that long position through your lower back. So again, your tailbone is reaching up towards the sky. Continuing to breathe. And we'll release the grip of the toes. Let's just toe heel your feet in so they're right underneath your hips, finding a very short rag doll fold, shaking out your legs. Let's take a deep bend and stretch through the legs. Bend, and as we stretch, reach your tail towards the sky. Last time we bend, rolling up through the spine. Head and shoulders are the last to recover. Finding mountain pose or Tadasana at the top, shining your palms forward, maybe closing your eyes. Just taking a moment to tune into how you feel after that practice. And we'll bring our hands together in front of our hearts bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you feel really great and stretched out after that flexibility flow. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I will see you on the mat very soon. Have a great rest of your day.